hey guys and welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do a crisscross puff on your natural hair so this is like a way to spice up your puff like if you don't want like boring hairstyles basically so i'm starting on a stretched hair so my hair is stretched i've already gone ahead to moisturize it so i'm just going to cut a little from the front i'm going to part my hair rather mm, cut anyone <laughs> so i'm going to part my hair just take like almost half of the hair yes but like i just use my ear to gauge it basically it doesn't have to be straight it doesn't have to be perfect i mean we're still going to do a puff that will cover everything okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and divide that front section into three other sections okay because that is where we're going to get the crisscross so i'm going to divide it into three other sections mm -hmm. then after i do that the next thing i do is to go ahead and take one section moisturize it with my leave-in conditioner you know and divide it again so i didn't have to detangle because i'd already detangled so i'm going to divide that section into two sections and then i'm going to apply my gel just to slick it a bit and then i will divide this section into two other sections so once i divide that section i will take my rubber band and just hold that section in place those two sections so basically what i'm trying to do is to create 12 crisscross like stuff in front okay so from that bigger three sections that i created i will divide those three sections into two sections and those two sections that i divide i'm going to divide it further into four sections okay i hope you guys understand but as you watch you'd you know get the point okay so i will just let you guys watch and see how i'm going to do it so this first section now as you can see i have done like four other tiny smaller sections there so yeah that's basically it So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing in those other two parts. So um, in that in those two parts, I'm going to be creating four other smaller sections. Okay. And yes, this hairstyle was inspired by Adana Madoke, by the way. Yes. So thank you so much, Adana, for giving you know us this wonderful hairstyle that you know looks so cute so yeah so i've gone ahead to do the other side and i'm just trying to finish up in the front i really hope you guys are getting this hairstyle honestly okay so i'll just let you guys watch it and i will come back and explain the crisscross okay so now we have our 12 small um boxes i mean 12 small parts <laughs> anyone shy but you guys get the point so i'm just going to take one section okay one tiny section and i'm going to twist it so i'm going to twist it not all the way to the end per se but i'm just going to take that one in front twist it and then i will cross it over to the one at the back like this exactly and i will use my rubber band and hold the two together 
that is what is going to give us that crisscross effect okay yes so i'm now going to take the second one in front i'm going to twist it as well and cross it over to the one at the back so that we now have the cross the x you know cross basically yes yeah, so this is what i'm going to do for this whole front section and yeah basically So once I'm done with that um, section, with everything basically, I'm just going to loosen the mouth just so that everything will go in with my puff. And then I'll loosen the rest of the hair, moisturize it and add some gel to slick the hair back very well like into a puff basically. And yes, you guys. I have a video about this gorilla snot gel if you are watching this and you haven't checked it out i don't know why i really don't know why so i gave my own review and my reaction about this gel when i tried it for the first time so yeah so i'm just going to go in with my hairband and create that puff okay and you guys are going to see how beautiful like just adding this or making this crisscross makes your puff look like it makes it look really beautiful so yeah this is basically what you do and then you can go ahead to add accessories which i did so the next thing is to lay my edges <laughs> this we are just going to try to lay these edges okay i'm not really good at this but we'll try something <laughs> so once i'm done i'm just going to lay it with my scarf just so that everything will stay in place and i will go do my makeup and i'm back okay so this is what our hair is looking like and i will add my accessories now okay just to make it you know pop more okay yes <laughs> so this is the finished look guys like just look at it so this is like taking your ordinary puff to extraordinary okay you know by just making it extra in front basically and this hairstyle is easy like it's something you can do on any hair type so maybe if you have a short hair and you feel like it's not going to puff enough you can just go ahead and add an extension and yeah 
you have an awesome style okay so thank you so much guys for watching please check out the other videos on this channel and i will see you in the next one bye